Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. Happy New Year, and to kick off the New Year, we're going to start it off with a sweepstake. Yep, I'm finally giving something away. It's uh, kind of hard to do sweepstakes this year because all the legalities and everything, and it really becomes so much of a hassle. I really would love to do more um, sweepstakes kind of things. I even got to make sure I call it sweepstakes and not giveaway or contest because that can imply other things. The, the legalities is out of hand. But um, Anokin was kind enough to give me a whole bunch, a whole bunch of these Endura 18 kits, which are awesome. As a matter of fact, um, two of them are not here because I've already given one away to a co-worker. That's one of the benefits of um, getting to put up with me at work. And um, I use one that I did a review on, and I'll go ahead and provide a link for the, the review of this. But anyway, this is the one I keep in my car. It's really, really good. Doesn't leak which is uh, one of the things why it's my go-to for my car, in my car. And it's small and convenient. Um, great starter kits, as well as for someone who's been vaping, just something that's very portable, easy to carry, easy to use. You just fill it and go. Easy to charge. Great thing. But anyway, I'll provide the link so you can see the review below. So I'm going to be giving away um, three black ones, two blue ones, and one silver one. These things also come in red, but they didn't send me any red, but that's all right. So we'll be giving those away, and let's uh, talk about some of the rules. First of all, the contest starts now. It ends on the 15th at midnight, and I will randomly pick a winner using random.org's uh, number generator on the 19th. Okay, now um, there's a whole bunch of other rules which you'll be able to see on the link that I will give you below to enter. There's a form there that you're going to fill out and one of the first things you're going to do is you're going to hit I agree saying that you've read all the legal um, requirements that I'm required to put out there like you've got to be 18 years old um, and you've read all the rules and there's then there's a link to even a, a bigger page with all the rules so by you checking that I agree you agree to all those rules because I you know legal stuff but anyway one entry per person please so I can give everybody a fair shot at this you gotta be over 18 years old you gotta be in the US and I know that's kinda of disappointing because I know I have a lot of viewers from in, from other parts of the earth however because uh, it's hard enough just to cover the legalities in my country, in the U.S., um, it, it becomes overwhelming to try to do it worldwide. And for those YouTubers that pull it off, more power to you, because it's a lot. All right. So that's the legal stuff. So on the form that you'll go to, I'll provide, there'll be the first link in the description box below to enter the contest. You're going to provide your first name, your last name, your email address, your phone number. You're also going to hit that I agree checkbox. Um, all these items are required in the contest. Also, you're going to pick what color you want. So, like I said, I'm going to be giving away one silver, two blue, three black. And so you'll pick whether you want silver, black, or blue for the contest. And um, really, that is, I think, everything that will uh, cover. So again, the contest will end on the 15th, midnight Eastern Standard Time. I will pick the winner on the 19th. So that's it for the contest. I wish you all the best of luck and a happy, healthy, wealthy New Year. <clears throat> so now I'm going to go ahead and sort of go to the second part of this video and that's sort of to wrap up um, my 2015 year by just going over some of my favorite things and New Year's resolution stuff. New Year's resolution, here we go. Um, I've already started my New Year's resolution about four weeks ago, four or five weeks ago, and that's to lose weight. I know this is so um, passe, I don't know, it, it's like everybody says my New Year's resolution is to lose weight, and I've almost, almost have never said that in my life, but I am finally saying it because I have to because of health concerns and and 
you know, being overweight at my age really can take you downhill really, really quick. So I am on one of the most serious tricks of my life, and that's to lose weight. So already, um, starting about four or five weeks ago, I've lost nine pounds, and I am dead on <laughs> serious of continuing that for 2016. My goal is probably to get down to, um, well, I'm going to take this in two steps because it's easier to figure things out if you compartmentalize your ideas and, and wishes and resolutions. My first goal, I think, would be to get down to 200. So I still have a little ways to go. <laughs> and then uh, I, I think my dream weight would probably be 180. So, but we'll, we'll shoot for 200 for 2016, and we'll see how that goes. All right, so next I want to talk about all my um, favorite things, you know, just in general, uh, odds and ends. First, YouTube channels. You know, not only am I a content provider on YouTube, but I like watching videos on YouTube. It's sort of a two-way thing. And one of my latest obsessions is cars because I had to buy two vehicles over the last uh, couple of years. So I really got into cars and everything. I've always loved cars. And um, in the process of watching all these videos, I found a really cool channel. And that channel is, um, of all names, Cereal Marshmallows. And it's this guy out on the West Coast that um, basically it has a business where he gets cars from auctions and things like that and flips them and then sells them, cleans them up, fixes them, sells them. He'll take you through auctions. Sometimes he has like Google glasses on and um, he, he shows you how to work on vehicles, fix vehicles, how to pick them, how to sell them and all kinds of other things including um, he, he also does uh, pocket beagles. He has a beagle named Breeder. Um, really cool personality. I really, really like his channel, and I'll provide the link below to that. Favorite music this year? Um, the the one group that sort of sticks in my mind uh, more than anything else is 21 Pilots, right there. 21 Pilots, this is their third or fourth um, CD. This is called Blurry Face. I really, really like this group a lot and their music. Um, another one that came in a close second was Ellie King came out with her first C and that's Rob Schneider's daughter believe it or not and that's Ellie King and I like her music too and both of what well, one of the things that I always look for in music is someone who really can sing they're not just they don't just sound good in the studio they actually sound good live and these two artists both um, or the lead singer or pilot, and Ellie King both have extraordinary voices. Ellie King has a very unique kind of voice, but um, I, I like them both. But this is my 2015 pick of the year as far as music is concerned. Next is my favorite tech. Um, this is kind of old. It's not really 2015, but it's 2015 to me. And that is the iPad Mini. <laughs> But this is the iPad Mini 2. It's not the 4, the latest and greatest. It's the 2. And the reason why it's my favorite for this year is because Walmart's been selling these for $200. That's about the cheapest you could get into a tablet from Apple. And, you know, I, I'm definitely more Android than Apple. But for some reason, and it's not features, it's not... Um, I, I don't know what it is, but it's just the... The, the build quality, the feel, and, and everything about it that I really just like it for some reason. I can't really point to any one thing. I mean, the, the screen is not the best resolution in the world, but it's um, it's just it just somehow still looks better. It's smoother. Everything just works great. I really like it. Uh, let's see. What other stuff we got here? Favorite knife. Favorite knife is going to really surprise you because it's only a $12 knife. But um, I've gotten this from Gearbest. 
and it is a Ganzo knight. That should not be a surprise to anybody who watches my channel. But it was this guy, the G727M. It's sort of a a slightly smaller version of the Rat One, and you know different materials because you know it's twelve dollars, so they use 440C for the blade. But the real the thing that makes this knife so awesome is the build quality for a twelve dollar knife, and they stuck an access access lock on there instead of the liner lock that you get with the rat one because i'm not a fan of liner locks i love this knife so if you're looking for an inexpensive knife so i'm going to go ahead and put the link to the video review that i did on this guy and then in that video if you're interested in purchasing that um the link is in that video as far as firearms concerned not really almost i don't think even any videos this year on firearms and i don't know if this year will be different if um you know i, I lose some weight and feel um uh, really up to it then i'll get out to the range and do that but i have so many things going on in my life that i just don't have the time to go to the range to shoot come back clean guns and everything that goes along with shooting it because i can't just go out and shoot and then put the gun aside then i have to spend four hours cleaning everything that I shoot because I am very anal attentive. But anyway, my favorite wi rifle, my favorite rifle, <laughs> I guess that's what Elmer Fudd would say. Um, my favorite rifle is my AK-47 right there. Um, I love this rifle. Um, for one thing, it started out its life as a Sega 7.62. And I converted it back to an AK, abided by all the 902 rules that go along with doing something like that, of course. But um, this is by far my favorite rifle because I made it my own. You know, I did the build, basically converted it, and it is one of the most reliable rifles on earth. And that's why it's by you. That's why it's by use. That's why it is used by so many armies on so many countries, including so many terrorists, unfortunately that can give this rifle a bad name but um it, it's because it's just so reliable you could beat it drag it through the dirt everything and it just keeps on going you know not the greatest for long range but for medium and short range this thing is great and you get a short barrel it's even great for urban warfare but um for me it's just <laughs> just having fun out there and shooting it and getting to learn about the rifle and firing it and uh, target shooting and things like that i just love it um, speaking about firearms, I, I've also will list my favorite pistol. My favorite pistol, and this one is fully loaded, so I need to be careful. Keep my finger on the trigger. It's my Glock. It's the G22, or the Glock 22. It's a 40 caliber, and this is my go-to gun. That's why it has a light on there right now. But um, I, you know, this is just like the this is like the AK-47 of pistols. Just keeps on going. Um, my favorite semi-auto pistol right there. It's uh, really not much to say about. It's not the most accurate. It's uh, you know not a, really a target shooting kind of pistol unless of course you change out the barrel. But uh, it's meant to just keep on going and you know just do what it needs to do and do it very well and you could rely on it. Very reliable, basic design not too many safeties and things like that there are a couple of built-in safeties of course but um you know not for any one particular reason other than reliability that i uh, have chosen this as my favorite all right so that's fully loaded ready to go i will be very careful there all right so next thing is my favorite flashlight it should be no surprise that my favorite brand is still through night and my uh, favorite through night flashlight is the Archer 1A version 2. Uh, I like it because number one, it uses a common battery, which is a double A, which you can get in uh, any store practically on earth, and you can also get rechargeables for it. And it's just the right size, and it's very bright, very reliable, and uh, has everything that I like in a flashlight. You know, it does the strobe mode in various modes. I like that it has that separate button and it has a tail switch. Can do the momentary. Has the crown bezel that you could use it as an impact device. And also you could tell that you left it on if you sit it down by the light leakage around there. It's bright, reliable, glass lens. Nice clip that's reversible. Nice knurling. It has a, a U-type tail so you can 
tail stand it, everything that I like in a tactical flashlight all summed up into the Archer 1A version 2. So that's why that's my favorite. Now let's go ahead and talk about vaping gear. They were so but many choices in the vaping world and um, my choice will change almost monthly depending on when you ask me because so many new products come out so quick that you know it, it's amazing how fast these products are coming out and they're also innovative uh, they're innovating very very quickly with all these new features so it really is um, something that just constantly changes so right now in this point in time in uh, January 1st, 2016, if someone were to walk up to me and say, hey, what's your favorite device and what's your favorite tank, it would be this setup right here that I just reviewed. And it is the Anokin Fire 4 Plus. It is not the latest or greatest as far as features are concerned, but uh, I just like the build quality of the display, the, the way it feels, button size. I'd like to, you know, just everything overall about this device I'm not a big temperature control kind of person, so that's not important to me. So, uh, again, this is purely me, what I'm liking. And um, the battery is built in this thing, but I just like, I just like it. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. It's, uh, it's great. It does a very good job. Now... The tank that's on here is also by Anokin. Right now it is my favorite. And I could give you some specific reasons why it's my favorite. Now this is the iSub Apex tank that's sitting on top here. And I think right now i got a Clapton coil that's in there. They have all these different coils in there, including temperature control ones if you want temperature control nickel coil in there, even though this device can't handle that. Um, but the thing I like about this tank is, number one, it has not leaked on me at all and I know in some reviews they say it hasn't leaked but eventually 99 percent of the tanks that I've used will inevitably leak somehow because I'll lay it down or, or just do something with it somehow or it'll be sitting for a very long time in, in a weird position you pick it up and then pfft, it leaks this guy has not leaked and the reason why it doesn't leak is because the airflow is coming in on the top and coming down and back up and because of that, it just the way it's designed, it does not leak. Now there are other tanks out there that I have not that have not leaked either. Um, I think that by Steam Crave, which I do have a lot of products I need to review from them. But um, this is the one that I sort of got to here first, and this has another feature that I really like, and that is that it fills on the top on the top. You just sort of twist the top; it opens up some holes on the top right there and you just fill it you don't have to do anything crazy you could even leave it on the device um, you don't have to take anything apart worry about things leaking out or anything you just turn it fill it close it and you just keep on vaping so it is an awesome tank and it works flavor and vapor production is just right up there it's awesome I like it <laughs> so what do I put in my tank what is my favorite juice? Now this is a weird one because I like Johnson Creek. I like Halo. They are some of the best juices I personally believe on earth because they're made in labs. They're made really good. Great flavors. Great vapor production. Great um, um, flavor. And with Halo they already uh, don't put any diacetyl in, in theirs. They've gotten that out of their ingredients and Johnson Creek I believe is changing up their formula right now to make sure there's no diacetyl in there for those of you concerned about that. However, <laughs> with all that said, it, it seems that my my favorite when I, when I do want some nicotine and um, my go-to over the last like two years I always come back and almost always continually vape this cheap crap <laughs> this cheap crap it's unbelievable why I go to this but I don't know why but it's Java by Haas this stuff just tastes awesome it, it is my go-to you could get find these at Walmart and other stores as well as ordering them online It's by mystic that makes the crappy sigalites you know I for some reason, 
like it. I can't tell you why. All right, um, we're almost coming to the end. We're going to talk about what I like to watch on TV and movies. Movies, um, I never go out to the movies. I don't. So I watch Blu-rays or whatever or pay-per-view or things like that. So my favorite movie is a 2014 movie that I watched in 2015. Um, the one that sort of sticks in my head after, because there are a lot of great movies, but the one that always sticks in my head that I can remember things from, so I must have liked it really good, is the Grand, Bu the Grand Budapest Hotel, 2014. It was just the way it was shot and the music and, and things about that movie that, I don't know, for some reason, I liked. It's uh, very unique. You don't find movies made like that just different it stands out and it's funny because I typically like sci-fi and comedy and that one just sort of sticks in my head all right favorite TV series I got two and I can't pick which one I like better so um, The Walking Dead I absolutely love The Walking Dead I don't miss it uh, or I do miss it when you're you know going in between seasons and um, I don't know. I like it. It's a zombie apocalypse stuff, and I don't know. <laughs> I do. What I do like about The Walking Dead is some of the things they improvise to take care of the zombies, and it's some things that could cross over in a survival situation where you have a crap hits the fan situation. Some of the things that they do could be conceivably used in a real-life apocalypse, I think. Not that I've experienced a real-life apocalypse, but I would think that, hey, that's a, a pretty good tool. Like uh, crossbows. I mean, there's no doubt that the sale of crossbows have spiked because of The Walking Dead. <laughs> but it's a great tool because if you have a firearm, okay, eventually you're going to run out of bullets because if society breaks down, no one can make bullets. So... Um, you know, what are you going to do? Well, you're going to go back to throwing rocks and, and uh, bow and arrow and crossbows and things like that. And the crossbow, I think, is one of the most uh, efficient and deadly um, portable hand-carried kind of weapons um, aside from, you know, firearms. So I think that... Um, you know, it, it's things like that that I really like about The Walking Dead. I don't know if that makes any sense. And then, of course, I like The Big Bang Theory. Um, great, great comedy. It's sort of my comfort food of uh, TV series. Okay, so it's almost time to wrap things up. Let's go ahead and come back all the way to the contest. I'm going to be giving away these Endura T18s. This is the one that I, the box that mine had um, come in that I reviewed. So... I like this device so much that, again, this is the one, my everyday use in my car. And what I like about this kit is, I like the little magnetic tab on the box there. And it came with a extra tank and charging cable right there. Great, great um, packaging. Lots of information. And I, I love that this thing also does not leak. It's the design of the um, cartridge inside sort of reminds me of the old school cartomizer with the holes that are that's stuffed in the tank even though it doesn't actually work like that. You just change the the inside like a normal atomizer. But um, it works so well and it does not leak. Charging, just flip that up. Now, the category that I put this in is this is the perfect starter kit because it used to be your cigarette light, lights, your ego, but again, these things are not the greatest for flavor and vapor production, but that's where most people start. And a lot of people will try these out, and a lot of people will say, this is not good enough, it sucks, and go back to cigarettes. So if you really want somebody... Um, a loved one, or if you are somebody who wants to quit smoking, especially this new year, this, I think, is one of the best products out there to quit smoking and to start vaping with. It's, uh, I think, a perfect beginner device, but it's also a perfect device if you just want something small, something you want to keep in the car like me, 
it just works so so well and it's a perfect mouth to lung kind of tank that's the draw is very similar to uh, an old-fashioned analog cigarette Build quality is great. The button, there's no rattle or anything. I love the button. It has that little light around it and turns colors based on battery. And uh, again, little charge thing. It does work as a pass through also. If all of a sudden you got to have that nicotine fix and the battery did go dead. Great. I did provide a, uh, I did do a review on this. I could go ahead and put the link below to a lot of these things as well as this below. So the contest, again, starts now and ends on Eastern Standard Time midnight on the 15th and I picked the winners for three black two blue one silver on the 19th here live <laughs> or not live but there'll be a video posted and again make sure you read all the rules and I'm sorry for everybody else who's not in the US but um, I, I just my life is extremely uh, busy right now and to deal with all the complexities of all the different rules and laws and orders that you have to use with other countries uh, it's too much for me right now that's not to say I'll, I'll do a, a contest in the future um, that will cover everybody else so I apologize to uh, all the other folks out there alright this is a rather lengthy video so I apologize for that but those of you who like to listen to me to fall asleep and for therapy you got a gem here <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really do appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and especially you. And I hope you have a great day and a happy, healthy, wealthy New Year to you and your family. Take care.